I used to use a lot of makeup wipes, a lot, and I didn't really. I'm inclined to believe her, but am I a gullible idiot? <laughs> Harper's Bazaar just launched Rihanna's nighttime skincare routine and at first I was like, oh my god, what a coincidence, and then I was like, wait, Cassandra, check yourself. It wasn't a coincidence. It was just good PR timing. So today, let's react. And for those who don't know or are new here, hello, I am a pineapple who lives under the sea. Just kidding, my name is Cassandra Bankson. I'm an expert and have been in the industry for over 10 years and I've suffered with acne for over 15 years. I became a medical esthetician to understand and embrace my skin and to help other people understand theirs, which is why I've enjoyed working alongside and with doctors and dermatologists and reacting to skincare routines like this to analyze, scrutinize, and learn from them. Because I think these conversations are always a fun way to discuss skincare and also to learn a little bit about ourselves and others and share opinions as well as facts when it comes to skin anatomy skincare routines and skincare ingredients so let's react we just we know there's gonna be Fenty skin in here we know it but I'm excited to see what else she uses or how her skincare routine has changed hey okay. hey I'm Rihanna <laughs> hey I'm Rihanna and I want you to go to bed with me Rihanna, I want to go to bed with you too, but I think I've been pronouncing your name wrong my entire life. And I apologize for every single time that I have referred to this beautiful human as Rihanna. Apologies don't have to be accepted, but here they are. Tonight I'm going to be showing you my nighttime skincare routine. So the first step is obviously getting all of this makeup off and cleansing my skin. Good news is our total cleanser is a two-in-one. It's a makeup remover and a cleanser. So whether you have makeup on or not, it can remove just dirt and oil or break all of the makeup down and remove it in one step. And also, I'm always in a hurry, so see that? Quick. She's totally right. The packaging in this line is A+. Plus. It is high caliber. And out of all of the products that I tried, the cleanser was okay. Again, it wasn't the worst cleanser in the world. It reminded me of Ula Henriksen. And again, because I have acne prone skin, it wasn't made for my skin type. That being said, I found that it didn't remove things like waterproof mascara or eyeliner or lipstick very well. Um, especially for me, when I go full cake face to try to cover up my acne scars, this cleanser did not cut it for me. Her skin also has a much better, I guess you would say, base than mine does. So she probably doesn't have as much to cover up, which again, you should never feel obligated to do. But sometimes my brain just wants to pack 40 shades of cake onto my epidermis. And you can actually see my full thoughts on the cleanser here. For someone who has combination to normal skin, who's really just starting a skincare routine and not looking to treat anything, it is a decent line. The ones that I would call it comparable to are these, especially this one from Ula Henriksen. If you enjoyed any of these, you will love this. But if you hated these, this Fenty one probably isn't for you. Usually if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll try to wet my face first and then start my routine lathering it down. But since I have makeup on, I'm gonna lather it in my hands so that I can start breaking it down with my hands in a circular motion. So say goodbye to my pretty makeup. But who needs makeup for bed? <sighs> not people with good skin, I'll tell you that much. So usually I like to go around the edges before my eyes, but I got a little too excited. So this is me, one wash, and my skin feels really supple. I'm actually shocked that so much of her makeup came off. Again, maybe we're using different brands, but my face did not look this clean, even after a couple times of using this with a full face of makeup. She's totally right. You don't have to wet your skin before putting a cleanser on. Again, like dissolves like in chemistry. So if you're wearing water-based makeup or if you're using something water-based, go ahead and put water on first. But oil and oil also mix. So if you do have oil-based makeup or an oil-based cleanser, go ahead and put that on on dry skin. That's gonna allow it to actually do the work to break down those particles and then you can rinse them and remove them from the skin um, and continue on with your routine. Our total cleanser adds nutrients right back into your skin so you don't get that dry, strippy feeling. You know, I've used cleansers in the past where I was afraid to even smile because I think I thought my face would crack. Not here, not up in here. 
she is correct about this. I found this cleanser to be very non-stripping. When we look at the ingredients, they back that up. Specifically, this cleanser uses sodium cocal glyconate as well as cocomidopropyl betanine. Now, both of these are more hydrating to the skin, but they're surfactants. And basically, in skincare, the main role of surfactants are to help different things mix together or to help bind to oil or little fatty particles and wash them away. In contrast to surfactants, if you see things like sulfates, like sodium laureth sulfate, SLS or SCS, those are a bit more foaming and therefore they do tend to be a bit more stripping. I also want to make it clear that sulfates are not always a bad thing. They're not an ingredient that we should demonize. However, I understand that a lot of people want to avoid them or if you have dry skin that you might want to avoid them. Test out cleansers. See which ones actually work on your face. If they leave your face feeling super, super tight, could be the product, but it could be that you also have naturally dry skin. And if after five or 10 minutes, your skin goes back to feeling kind of like butter or cookie dough, or if it gets super oily, you probably have combination to oily skin. So that little trick of walking out of the shower and not putting anything on your face for 15 minutes is one way to tell your skin type. Fun fact. Some of the best tips that I've gotten for skincare and of course practice, uh, hydration. So whether it's drinking a lot of water or I travel a lot so my skin gets dry on the plane and I need to stay hydrated. I actually did a test where I brought a barometer and a humidity meter onto a plane to see how dehydrating the air actually was. And dude, I was actually pretty shocked. The average humidity here in California is like 50 to 60%. When I took this thing on the plane, it bottomed out at 10% and then it tried to go lower. If you wanna see the skincare I used and kind of how that went, you're free to watch it here. But what she's talking about is no joke. And I love that she's actually listening to her skin. I think she's one of the only celebrities who has a celebrity skincare line that is actually using their line and contributed to the marketing and some of the key ingredients in the Line, whereas most celebrities do not do that. So seeing that she's taken time to learn, to listen to her skin, and to actually put those things into play in her real life is appreciated and kind of unusual, sad enough to say. Well, a healthy diet, people from the best, most exotic islands with the best ingredients and stuff like that, the, the best environment and climate and humidity, their skin is beautiful. And I try to implement a lot of those ingredients into my skincare line as well. Um, one of them being very personal to me, which is the Barbados cherry. I call it beige and cherry. I mean, beige and cherry. One of my favorite products from Fenty Skin, it's our fat water, which is a toner, but it's a two in one product. The fat water is a toner, it's also a serum. So I called it fat water because Unlike most toners, this one just sits in your hand like that. So by now, most of my toners would have already ran through my fingers and you know, it forces you to kind of use like cotton pads and stuff like that. This one, you really could just put it right in your hand and break it into your skin. This is one thing that when the marketing came out with this, I was like, wait, a toner, serum, toner, serum. It's an essence. Just call it an essence. This was probably inspired by, again, her own use of the product, what her skin needs, and also from K-Beauty. But I did think that this was a pretty cool product. Again, it wasn't my favorite from the line. If you are someone who enjoys Glossier, I think that you will love this product. But if you're someone who, again, is looking for more clinical or treatment-based, there's really not much in here that's gonna do a lot for you. It does have the Barbados cherry that she mentioned. It does have niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. These can, again, impart some of that hydration to the skin. Niacin Cinnamide especially can even help with oil control. Um, the product says pore refining, which when I think about it, that's kind of a funny marketing term. Again, I'm picking that apart because I have experience in cosmetic chemistry, in skincare, in aesthetics, and aesthetic medicine. So I do come from a little bit more of a critical background. And I hope you know that that's never against the person whose routine I am reviewing. We all have skin. What works for one person doesn't work for another. But I like to critique these routines and to bring some of these aspects of my past educational history or my past occupation 
educational history into those conversations. So when I saw that, I was definitely very critical. I was like, what do you mean poor refining? But she's completely right, especially when it comes to the feel of it. It is a very cool formula. The package has that little belly button on it so that you're not wasting product. And I love what she's bringing up about being eco-friendly. If you don't have to use a cotton pad in order to apply this to your skin, just emulsify it in your hands and pat it on. It does not strip away your skin. It leaves moisture in your skin. It adds moisture to your skin. And you're gonna see that when it dries down. And of course, what toner is really, really made for is refining and reducing pores. My favorite because the smaller the pores, the younger you look. And at 32, I like to keep tight, you know what I'm saying? Again, I love that she's actually a celebrity who seems to genuinely use these products and understand how they work. I hate to say it, but there are a lot of celebrity skincare lines out there that are just like, hi, I'm a billboard, and that really pisses me off. For a celebrity skincare line, my review of this was like a nine out of 10. But again, for a regular skincare line or for a treatment skincare line, I wasn't as impressed, and I would say it's like a six out of 10. And again, that is based on my needs and my expectations looking for active ingredients. She also mentioned the purpose of a toner. I would say that this is a great explanation of an essence, you know, to kind of refine pores and to keep everything hydrated. A toner's real purpose purpose is to tone the skin, to balance the pH. You see, the pH or potential hydrogen of our skin can change, and it normally likes to hang out between a 5 and a 6. And if it's too high, it can be damaging, you can get overgrowth of bacteria, yeasts, and certain microbes, and if it's too low, the same thing can happen. So a toner really balances that out, and some toners are astringents, meaning they can actually wick away oil. And toners are also built to help other products after them penetrate deeper, again opening those pores and allowing the skin to rebalance so that other things can can go on better and more effective. I don't believe that this toner does all of that. I do think that this is an essence, but again, each person's skincare routine is going to need something different. And Rihanna obviously likes the idea of glow, hydration, and keeping her pores tight looking. What well, pores? We've already broken down the makeup with, by the way, no makeup wipes, check that. And we've put the toner on, it's drying down. No cotton pads, so we're saving the earth. I used to use a lot of makeup wipes, a lot, and I didn't really realize what that was doing to the planet. And so I think it's kind of a wrap for makeup wipes. We love an eco-conscious queen who puts her money where her morals are. I understand that being able to afford eco-friendly skincare is sometimes a luxury and that not everyone has that privilege. However, the fact that she's making an effort, the fact that she learned about makeup wipes and actually stopped using them, I'm personally so impressed because I feel like, especially as humans, it's hard for us to make changes, especially if they disrupt our way of living or our ease of living. So the fact that she's done that and then worked to create products that allow her to do that and then sits here and spreads this message to the millions of people who follow her and look up to her is so important. And that brings me into our third step, which is a product that I'm really, really proud of. Fenty Skin Moisturizer has an added sunscreen, SPF 30, and our SPF is coral reef friendly. Get that. So Another big thing about SPF moisturizers and sunscreen in general is that I usually leave this really white cast and a horrible, horrible smell. But I also want all women of all skin tones and all colors to be able to use this moisturizer without that gray white cast being left behind. So as you can see, it's already starting to like disappear on my hand. And I just like, it feels so good that you just wanna leave your hands there just like this. For me, the product I was splurge on the most is moisturizer, anything to do with moisture, whether it's face or body. I think adding good moisture to your skin and having something that you know is effective and works, super important for everyone, every skin type, every skin tone. I'm actually a little bit surprised that she's applying a sunscreen moisturizer at night. This, I mean, I know it's part of the Fenty Skin lineup. Um, it says that this is not sponsored, which I am inclined to believe. Maybe I'm gullible or, you know, maybe I should actually believe it. Um, but I was kind of hoping that she might use a different nighttime cream or serum because again, even as the founder of a line, I feel like we as humans have different products that we use. Look in your bathroom. Look at your sisters, your cousins, your friends, your friends' boyfriends, your friends' boyfriends, moms, dogs, babies 
babysitter. They all have multiple products in there. And I think that for 99% of the population, we use more than one brand. And of course, this is her line. I love that she loves it, but I am actually genuinely curious do you use other products on your face? Does she use other things other than her own line? Um, because I think most people, even skincare founders, do. Um, but I would be interested to know. I do think that it would be logical for Fenty Skin to launch a night moisturizer next, especially one that's maybe a little bit more hydrating with shea butter since she seems to love hydration. Um, I I'm trying to kind of rack my mind for the literature. There's nothing really wrong with applying a sunscreen at night, but sunscreen does degrade. It has to be applied on average every two to three hours, depending on your skin. So applying a sunscreen at night, first off, it's not helping. You still have to apply it during the day. Um, I would see this as like a waste of a sunscreen moisturizer product. I'm glad that she likes it as a sunscreen, but I really think that she should create a moisturizer at night that works for her, that she can launch and share. Um, or maybe look at another brand that has something that serves her skin, but that doesn't have sunscreen in it, because like, why waste it? I love that it's reef safe though. That makes me so happy. So this is me before I'm going to bed at night. But of course, this is my exact routine in the morning. So it's perfect. And that's my nighttime skincare routine, y'all. You're welcome. <laughs> Wow, so this is what she uses at night and in the morning. Again, I'm inclined to believe her, but am I a gullible idiot? <laughs> Does she have a favorite spot treatment or an exfoliator that she uses every now and again? And maybe this is the base. I do think that when creating this line, they did create the perfect skincare starter pack. For people who have never looked into skincare before, this is a great place to start. Again, the awareness around the line, especially that they launched with a sunscreen is so appreciated. But you know, you can get more advanced with skincare. It's not that you need to, but you can. And I feel like, you know, does she not use a spot treatment? Like what does she use to exfoliate? Does she see an esthetician or a dermatologist? Is she on any prescriptions outside of this? Does she ever use a night mask? Like, is this moisturizer ever not enough? Because I did find that this wasn't a very good moisturizer, at least when I tried it on my skin. I guess I am a little bit surprised. I was hoping that she would share a little bit more, you know, maybe some other insights. But um, I know that her makeup artist did say that she used, you know, exfoliators and masks and other things in the past. I love that she was heavily involved with this launch, that she did put so much into it. Then if you want my full thoughts on whether or not Fenty Skin is actually worth the money, I've done a breakdown ingredient by ingredient with my personal experience right here. Rayanna, I'm not going to get that wrong anymore. I'm going to try really, really hard. But if that like button isn't blue, go ahead and change its color. And if that subscribe button is red, turn it gray. We post regular skincare content here talking about the biology of our beauty and cosmetic chemistry, and I wouldn't want you to miss it. Always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. Go show Rayanna some love underneath that video post some butterfly emojis or some cherry emojis. And either way, I cannot wait to see you in the next video right here. <sighs> Love you guys. Bye.